Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix KB update error on Windows, which is not installing on your Windows 11. And the error is KB5050021 error, which is happening. So for many users right now, and how we can do this. So let me directly get into this step. So the first one is all about what we need to do is in order to fix the issue. We need to start app redefined services. So what we need to do is we just need to go over here. So what I'll do is we have to just go over here, go to the services. Now from here type services. This is the first step. Go to services. Now from here we need to go over here app readiness. So just go over here. You can scroll down and navigate to this one. So just right click and go to start not start just right click over here and now as you can see the startup type is manual change this to automatic now from here go to apply now from here what we need to do is just go ok and once it is being run you have to just go over here and go to restart so do this once the app readiness is done you are done with this one just close this and let's move to the next step next step is all about what we need to do is we just need to run update troubleshooter so just go over here, search for settings. Now from here, click on this one and go to system. Now from here, scroll down and navigate to troubleshoot. Now from here, go to other troubleshoots. Now from here, what we need to do is we just need to click on run. So Windows update will be running. So just click on this one. So once the Windows update is done successfully and we are fine with the Windows update is successfully done. And once afterwards, you have to try and check whether you are still having the update issue with KB5050021. So if you are still having the trouble, just close this and go back and try launching the game. I mean, you have to try moving to the next step. Next step is all about what we need to do is we just need to restart Windows Update and Background Intelligent Transfer Services. So just go over here in the services once again, search for services. Now click on this one and from here we have to go for Windows Update. So just keep scrolling down and navigate to Windows Update. Now from here we have to scroll down and the first one you can see just keep scrolling down and navigate to Windows Update. So this is the Windows Update. So just right click, go to the properties. Now from here as you can see you have to set this to automatic. Now go for start. And once it is done, just go for apply and go for OK. And once afterwards, just go over here, go to restart. Now just do the restart. Once the restart is successfully done, you are fine with this one. Next one, we need to go for background intelligent transfer services. So just go over here at the top. We need to navigate to background intelligent transfer services. So this is the update. So just right click, go to the properties. Now from here as you can see the startup type is automatic, change this to automatic, not delayed. Go to apply, now from here go to ok. Once afterwards just right click, go to the properties. Now from here we just need to just go over here right click, go to restart. Now once the restart is done, what we need to do is we just need to wait this switch completely done. Once afterwards we are fine with this, just close this and try launching the game. I mean we need to try checking this we have it that we are still having the trouble with kb5050021 update next one is all about we need to use windows 11 installation assistant so just go to this link this is windows 11 installation assistant so you can download the windows 11 from here i'll be providing this link now from here download this one and try downloading this one and install and you have to check whether you are going through any kind of windows installation assistant this is what you have to do as the first step next one is all about we need to go over here apart from this you also need to try with use microsoft update catalog so i'll be providing a link in the description that will take you to this now from here we have to type what error is happening for example right now we are going through facing kb5050021 so just type the error and go for search and now you can see you'll be having these available versions okay you can see which is for window version 23h24 arm based x664 based one you can download this one if your system is based on x64 based one you can download this one and if it is on arm 64 you can download this one so based on the configurations you have to download this one you can see this is the size of the file 
so you can download this one and after successfully download you run this and most probably this will be completely fixed as well still if you're having the trouble what we need to do is we just need to go over here so what we need what we are going to do is we're going to run these kind of commands into the windows update so what we need to do is reset the windows update components so to do this just what i do is i'll copy this and i'll paste it on the notepad so once you copy and paste this on the notepad just go over here on the file go to save as now you should change this to first one change this to all file and you should give this to a name for a folder that is wofix dot bat you have to name this like this and you need to uh, save it on the desktop just go over here and save it so once it is saved as you can see you can see this is how it is saved now from here we have to you can see this is saved as wofix file name in like wofix so just right click go to run as an administrator go for yes so right now you can see the windows update service is stopping it is stopping everything and once everything is successfully stopped it will restart the entire or it will reset the entire windows update component which is going to take time so once it is successfully done we need to do a restart on a system and after the restart is done most probably the issue regarding that is windows update kb5050021 not installing on your windows 11 will be completely fixed and this is what you have to do so right now just wait the storage completed because it is going to take time so it is not so much easy it is so guys i think this is going to take a little bit of time as well so once it is done we just need to close everything and do a restart and afterwards try and most probably the issue regarding kb5050021 or the issue regarding kb5050009 kb5049622 or kb5048667 most all these kind of issues will be fixed by this so i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more of these kind of videos see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye